Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the CSS properties of a div in jQuery and how to change the value. So to start with, I have taken this uh, code. What I have done is created four divs, each with different backgrounds and given them the height of 60 pixel and width of 60 pixel and made the display as inline block so that they are arranged in horizontal layout and when I run this file I see that this is the output that I get so these are four blocks one is red one is blue one is orange and one is yellow what I want to do is when I click on any of this block uh, alert pops up and tells me the color of the block so how I'm going to do that let us check by jQuery so when I click on each of the box, I'm going to get a pop-up and sp which specifies the color of the block. To keep the different colors, what I've done is I've gone ahead and added the styles to individual divs so that the div take property from this as well as this. So let us start writing the code as to how to uh, use jQuery to find out the color of the blocks. Normally a script is kept at the bottom of the document just above this slash uh, body tag. I will not go much into detail about how HTML is structured. Maybe you can watch other tutorials of mine. So to add the code I will just add a script and a slash script is automatically introduced by my HTML editor. So if your editor is not doing it by default you will have to type it by your own. So remember that the JavaScript code lies between script and the slash script tags. To start with JavaScript code, uh, essentially J the jQuery code, you can type in the keyword jQuery or if you want to use dollar, you can use dollar also. So dollar is a function that takes a parameter as document and when the document is ready, it will call a function which has some body and we close this statement inside this body we select the div by again starting with dollar and since we are selecting the just the div not the id not the class we will just type in div dot on so that means this is an event this is a function actually that, that will be called on some kind of an event. So here we say click and when click happens a function is called. What is inside this function body is we have to take this dollar this which is the div since we are we are inside the div object and we have to alert this so we alert dollar bracket this dot css and then we say background color So I've used the background uh, term here but background color here just to be a little bit more specific. A background could be an image also but it right now it uh, is in color and system will take it as a color. So let us check out when we click on the individual div what happens. I'll just reload this file and when I click on this. And when I click on any of the box, let us see what happens. So as you can see, the color is now being displayed. So it is RGB 2550. This is just a code in RGB format. Clicking on the blue, it gives us this color value. On the orange, something different. And on the yellow, something different. So the task of uh, finding out the CSS property is now complete. All you need to do is look for that object 
that particular object and use this function called as CSS pass on the CSS property and you will get this output value now what if you want to change the color of the divs for example make all the divs color as red so instead of just querying the property we are also uh, changing the property to do that we'll just remove the statement and instead of uh, alert I would choose dollar and type in this again because this is the object the div on which this uh, property will apply CSS and the way to set this property is type in the property name and give it a value color for example red here so if you want to get the property you just have to close the bracket here if you want to set the property you have to give it a property like this so this function is multi-user you can use it in two different ways either to get the property or to set the property so this code what is going to do is that when I click on any of the div it's going to change its color to red so essentially we'll check it out for these three divs which have different colors save it and run it so this is our color uh, colored set of boxes and I'm going to click on one of it and the color should turn to red let us click on this blue box it's turned to red let's click on the orange box that too and the yellow box is converted to red so basically what has happened is we have taken this object and upon the click of this mouse we have changed the color as a CSS in the background color to red so this is how you change the property of CSS so in this tutorial we learned how to query the CSS values of any div using jQuery and how to set it if you want to add something for example a class you can always do class equal to instead of div you can use dot to achieve the same kind of effect so i hope you like this video thanks for watching